Okay, let's put a sketch on the front plane. And then I'll right click uh, View Normal to Sketch Plane. And my first line right here is going to be a short one. It's going to come up here vertically uh, 0.125 over 2. That's the radius of that area over 2. Enter. And I'm going to stop there. I guess I didn't do as I said I was going to do. I was going to make this line here. This is 1.875. OK. Let's escape out of the line tool and get that dimension out of the way. So we're going to come up here. And I think the diameter is at 0.475. So 0.475 over 2. And I'm going to come back some amount that I've forgotten. That's right here, I think. Oh, no, it's this one. That is uh, 0.410. So 0.410. Then I go up a little bit. And the amount is shown in the, the call out A here. So I go up. 0.063 and over 0.085 and then back down 0.063. So let's do that. So go up 0.063, go over 0.085. Yeah, 0.085. I, I know it's a mess, so let's clean that up. So there, 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 and so I'll take the line tool and I'll finish here. Let me zoom up. We go back down 0.063. Then I think we go back over 0.82. And uh, let's double check that. 0.82. And then for the way home, I, I use a three point arc right here. So, so right here, um, we're going to go up here to the three point arc, which is right here, and go click there, click there, pull out this way, and let's equal a radius of one. So I think I closed the loop there. So I can finish that sketch and go to Revolve, choose, oh, I forgot something. Nobody, nobody caught me. Remember, let me delete that. Remember, I go up right there. Right, I've got this little bump. That's a mess. We've got this little bump right here. So I go up 0 0.030 first. So let me really zoom in on that. I go up 0 0.030. Then I make my, my arc back home from here to here at uh, radius 1. Finish the sketch. And uh, let's revolve that. And the revolve axis is right there. So we'll take that. I'll press P to get rid of those um, planes. And I'm almost there. Let me, I want you to make this white. I should write that in the assignment, but I will later. All right, and now I want to shell that side and let's turn the origin off there and there and I know it's uh, 0.025 thickness 0.025 enter and accept and you can see that now we have the finished part and if you want to match say the volume or the surface area. 
it's not that useful, I guess, for the volume, 0 0.07 in the surface area, I get 5.67. For what it's worth, you want to match parts. And then, I guess while I'm at it, I can quickly make the, uh, okay, let me rename this one. This is called tip. And I should rename my part studio, rename tip grip. I'm going to put like a uh, three on it because I think I have two other ones. You, you don't have that three. And now I'm going to make a new part in the way that I described earlier. Click use and then grab there. So I got a circle on the sketch plane. Let's make a sketch plane here. And let's use that outer diameter. And now let's let's try lofting from the small one to the big one. Let's see if that works. So from three to two. Oh, it wants a sweet path. Let's do this. Uh, let's do. Oh, no, no, we're not sweep. We're doing a loft. So let's go from there to there. And we want that to be new. We'll accept it. Uh, make that orange. Uh, rename this to grip. And I still have to hollow this guy out, which I can do by making the tip invisible. And then I guess I'll just do it here. Point four. Seven five. I think I got a dimension wrong. I mixed point four seven five point four oh one, so be careful on that if you were watching. I'll do that I'll finish this and I'll ex whoops whoops. And I'll extrude here remove through all and there it is and if I turn on the tip you can see it's there okay I think I did get one dimension mixed up but uh, you'll see you'll do that you'll fix that okay